Hey guys, I am at the Odd today because I have not skated here in quite some time. But before that, I was actually in Ottawa. Now, before we get into the topic of today's video, let's get a warm up in first because I am really excited to start skating. I just ate lunch though, so we're gonna take it easy. Hi, I'm here in Ottawa. I had never been to Ottawa before. So of course the things on my checklist were check out the skate park and check out the skate shops. Especially since in Kitchener, Waterloo, we don't have local skate shops. And the very first skate shop we went to was Burling Skate Shop. I'm on a family trip and we're about to check out some local skate shops. home I did not feel the best but let's continue talking so the very first skate shop we went to was Burling skate shop and oh my god it was great I loved all the decks in there and they were so beautiful I also love the homie working inside the shop he was really dope gave me a few stickers this is their logo pretty cool reminds me of the show friends very friendly, very cool. If you guys want to check them out, they have an online skate shop I will link in the description. So fun to be there and oh my god, their choices of decks are so good. I love the art style and the graphics and the concaves. This skate shop was also right next to a skate park. Okay, it wasn't right next to, but it was a few streets down and it was really awesome. I skated there for a quick minute, so I didn't really film too much there. I'm really sorry. But you could see that a lot of skaters who were at the skate park went over to Burling Skate Shop to chill, get some new shoes, get some fresh decks. And Burling Skate Shop also had a little hangout area in front of the door, which is super cool because, especially during Corona, they could sit there, try in their shoes, hang out, have a drink or two. And overall, I really like that skate shop. And now, onto the second skate shop. They look so good. Whew. On deck! So cool. It was probably one of the biggest skate shops I have ever seen. They also hit me up with a sticker. Very cool. Big fat sticker here. The skate shop was run by a pretty old school guy and they had a huge variety of things. I fell in love with one of the cruisers they had in the shop. Oh my god! It was my dream cruiser. I wanted it so bad. So, so bad. I wanted it so bad. But of course, during the time of this recording, I don't really need a cruiser. And buying a whole new skateboard is really expensive. So it isn't in the list of my priorities right now. Overall, some really cool vibes. They were teaching some kids how to skateboard. So they were prepping up in the front of the shop and in the back of the shop. And the absolutely coolest thing was that this skate shop also doubled as a skate park. They had a big old half pipe in the back of their skate shop, which I unfortunately was not allowed to skate because I had to pay to book a time to skate it and sign some papers and they were having a class. I wasn't able to skate it that day. This skate shop has an indoor mini ramp. Look at that. And there's some outdoor obstacles as well. Look at that. Flat bar, check it out. Hey, and got the mani pad. Oh my god. This place is so sick. Unfortunately, we had to 
drive out a little bit, a little away from downtown Ottawa. So I think it would be a little bit convenient, but oh my god, this skate park is definitely cool. Definitely different from Rolling Skate Shop, they have very different vibes. But let's talk about why I named the title of this video, the title of this video. Why the heck should you support local skate shops? I made a video about two years ago about my very first experience going to Zoomies. And in that video, I kind of discussed things about local skate shops and why I didn't really like Zoomies that much and possibly a few reasons why I did like Zoomies. But for real, people always say support local skate shops, but some of you guys might be thinking, why should I and what the heck is the difference? I'm here to tell you. First of all, Zoomies and other chain stores are corporations, while local skate shops are run by your local homies that go skate near you. So chances are you either know them or most people in your skate community do know them and it means a ton for you to support them. Also because since they're not a giant ass corporation, it's definitely a lot harder for them to make money, which is the reason why sometimes the decks can be a little bit more expensive because things are usually cheaper when you buy them in bulk and unfortunately local skate shops sometimes just don't have the privilege to do that. Second reason, it also just helps build your community. Since they are part of your local skate community, supporting them means that they appreciate you, they get to stay open, other skaters around the area continue to support that skate shop, and so on. Overall, it's just friendly vibes. Why would you not? Third of all, they help fund events. All these points kind of link up to each other, but they are still important on their own. Go skate they, October events, Christmas events, any other sort of events. Local skate shops are usually the ones organizing it, funding it, and of course giving away free shit. Whether that is free decks, free shoes, stickers, grip tape. It's always a fun time and even if they don't have the supplies to give stuff away. It is so much fun to have these events and hang out with everybody. I know back in Hong Kong I was really blessed to have multiple local skate shops and they were always participated. They always participated in every single event. It was absolutely awesome. Without local skate shops it would definitely not happen. We do have Hong Kong Skateboard Association and maybe they could pull something, but honestly, it just wouldn't be the same without those local skate shops. And I know that now, especially now that I've moved to such a small town in Waterloo, because they no longer have a skate shop around here. Or at least that's what I've heard. And we definitely don't get events around here. If you're gonna buy something, buy something from the local skate shop because trust me, it is way harder for them to stay open than it is for Zoomies. And this is just my personal opinion. I feel like it's so much nicer to walk into a local skate shop than into a corporate brand because I just feel like it's so much more unique. Every local skate shop has their own vibe to it and they have their own array of products. It's just very unique. And it feels so much more welcome to walk into there than walk into a store and just see some random store manager. I'm sure the people at Zoomies work hard, but definitely it's a different vibe. I make a lot of videos talking about topics and trying to help beginner skaters. And this video was definitely more aimed towards people coming into the skateboarding community, not knowing why supporting local skate shops are so important and why so many skaters preach supporting the local skate shops. Also, I know I haven't been up top on my YouTube game, but that is because I have been a little bit busy, but I really need to manage my time better. I've been doing some summer school, but don't worry, I got you. I will definitely stay on top of it from now on. I'm trying my best. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next week. I upload every Saturday to Monday. Peace out, guys. Stay safe.